So we got this side put together. All the seals. Got to do the wheel bearing still. That's the easiest one. This side is all assembled. However, I have to strip it down and pack the uh, the steering knuckle with grease. Unless I can get enough pumped in this hole right here. This plug. Which I'm not really seeing that working very well. Think about adding somewhere grease zerk. Because that thing's supposed to be three quarters full of uh, grease. So I've been kind of contemplating putting a grease zerk on there. I can open that little cap. Pump some in and get some more out when it's hot. Put the plug back in. Seems to be the most important thing. I actually had already assembled this one when I referred back to the Toyota manual which tells you quite explicitly to pack that sucker full of grease and then I'll be doing that next and putting the hub on oh drive shaft still in probably just unhook it before I pull this front end to bolt this one in there and I got to do the brakes the calipers anyway when I uh swap the front ends out i'm going to get some slightly better brake rotors however my bent ones unless i'm willing to cut off and move these studs right here are not going to go on here so this is a larger diameter hub anyway so if i get a vented cross drilled slotted solid disc it'll be should be the equivalent to a vented one at least it has something to mitigate the heat better so well that's where we are on the forerunner about to get a front end in it uh, in case you missed the other videos this is a detroit true track differential it was built with the 29 spline uh, pinion and conversion bearings so it's locked and 456 Yukon gears to match the rear.